Hello YouTubers and great Gatsby lovers, it's Bethy Blue Eyes here and today I thought I'd dress Gatsby-esque to honour the wonderful Leonardo DiCaprio and the cast of The Great Gatsby. Um, I wish I'd gone dressed actually like this to the cinema but I didn't, I went in my normal clothes and I just thought I'd do like an outfit of the day. Because um, I was feeling Gatsby-esque I have a lovely outfit on. First thing I have my little headband here which was from New Look, it was £2 in sale at Christmas. I have um, two sets of pearls on, one long cheap pair that I got from the charity shop for 2 99 and then a lovely pair which I don't think is going to pick up on camera of pearls from Oasis and they have a lovely Art Deco print on them. My dress and my little lovely cardigan, flower cardigan were from my mum's charity shop and it comes off as a two piece so you can do your dancing and um, yeah I just thought I would honour the Great Gatsby today with my outfit and enjoy it. I've clipped my hair up in the same style and today my video is going to be Hey, what's in your bag? Everybody always asks me about what's in my bag. I have the biggest Vivian Westwood handbag ever. I've never shown it in the hall before because I've not bought it recently. I bought it two years ago in Selfridges for quite a lot of money, but it was a treat to myself for a new job I had. And so I'm going to not edit it. I'm going to show you what's in it today. I'm going to be embarrassed, but it's real life. And if you like the video, subscribe. If you don't, watch one of my other videos. And I'm going to show you now what I have in there. Right, here we go with the video. Again, here is my beautiful Vivian Westwood handbag, which I bought a couple of years ago in the sale at Selfridges in London. Um, it hasn't got a name. My other designer bag, I have two designer bags, and I know you're probably quite surprised because I do all this thrifting, and they're the only two bags I've really ever bought brand new and that I've really, really liked. Um, I don't use them all the time, I don't, I'm not really a flashy person, but I really liked these bags for what they are and they just screamed at me and it's the first time ever in my life I've bought anything really designer and beautiful and it will last me a lifetime because it's black, but yes, so I need to probably name my little bag, uh, but I haven't, my Chanel bag is called Charlie, which I might show in another video one time. So, I'm going to do a what's in my bag, I apologise in advance, oh, you can hear there's loads of stuff in there, this is just today's junk and today's real life. I've not edited it. I've seen some YouTubers do what's in my bag and they've been like, oh, here's a pencil and here's my Blackberry and here's a purse. Mine isn't gonna be like that. Mine's going to be real life. So let's start with what's in my bag. I'm terrified. If there's anything really, really scary in here, I'm not gonna be able to show it. So first thing that was in my bag is my trusty brolly. It's a compact one. Um, you're going to say, no, she's putting the brolly up inside. I was born on Friday the 13th, so I don't believe in tradition or old wife's tales at all. Ta-da! Puppy umbrella. How cool is that? Well, it's not only cool because it's a compact one, it's got puppies all over it. I bought this in a charity shop. It was one glorious pound. And it's one of those brollies that I can take to work. If anyone goes walking out with my brolly, I'm going to know that that's my one. Not many people have puppies on their brollies, do they? So that is the number one thing that is in my bag. Number two thing that is in my bag is a pair of tights. I always carry a pair around with me in case I get snaggy my tights. Um, they're not very heavy. They're really lightweight. And I just pick them up when I see them. These are just a 10 denier pair of mink tights for the other occasion I need them. Uh, the next thing in my bag is my trusty notebook. I showed it in one of my hauls. It's a magnetised notebook. I'm using this to make all my notes on my new job in my office so I don't forget any of my important things I have to do for my job. And the next thing in my purse, in my bag, sorry, is a pair of Zara sunglasses. Don't you love that noise that sunglasses cases make when you shut them? It just, I love it. And these, I think I've shown these before, they're like an oversized pair of sunglasses with some twinkles on the edges and they're like a tortoiseshell one. These were in the sale down from 12 99 to 6 95 about six months ago. Put my sunglasses down there. Oops. Oopsie. And I just realised I've got two pairs of sunglasses in my bag, it's ridiculous. Well, in case I go anywhere and my husband gets eye strain, I've got some sunglasses. I might be feminine but I've got sunglasses and again these are my vintage Ray-Bans that I got from a charity shop for £20 um, again you've seen them before they're dark blue and they've got the gold on the top 
um, again. But yeah, I obviously didn't need, I didn't, you see, this is what I mean. I don't think I just took it in my bag and think I need it. But if I got trapped to the desert island, I could live out of this handbag, I tell you that. Um, I have, <laughs> see, this is even more ridiculous, but I have a fear that one day I'm going to go to a public toilet and there's going to be no toilet paper. And I'm going to be having to drip dry and I don't want to drip dry. So I've got two packets of tissues just in case I need to blow my nose or anything else. And I won the lottery. I won a pound on the lottery. And I'm going to get this pound back and I'm going to invest it into the charity shops because I want to give back to my local charity. I've yet to pick it up yet. And I have, what else do I have in here? Ah. My work keys that I carry with me because I need them to open and shut in the morning. I have, oh, another packet of tissues. That's three, four packs of tissues I have. A hair bubble. <laughs> you see, in case I get hungry and I'm on the way to work, I've got some fruit bowl yogurt raisins. Yum, yum, yummy in my tummy. I have a powder, I'm waiting for, I've ordered the compact off eBay and it hasn't arrived yet, but it's the Steeler Angel Light Whitening Powder Foundation Refill and it's an SPF 26 randomly and I bought the case for this, I showed this in the haul, I bought this from the pound shop, it's the perfect powder for me, it's translucent, it uh, mattifies the skin and when I get hot at work that just covers me over. I have another cereal bar, just in case I get hungry. So I like to keep these because I don't like breakfast in the morning. I know it's the best meal of the day, but I don't like breakfast. So I need to have something when I get to work. A deodorant, which I have Mitchum Advanced Control 48 hour, because nobody likes a lady with BO. And this is random, but I have some push pins to go on a noteboard for work and I've shut them with my um, hair bubble. because so you can imagine getting all these pins in the bottom of my bag, it wouldn't be very good. So I need to take them into my office at work. Another hair bobble, because I have long hair. I, again, I'm always worried that I'm going to not have a bobble or something or other. I have a bottle, travel size bottle of Chanel number no. five, my favorite fragrance. Um, Eau de Parfum. I have some chewing gums in case I get smelly breath and a Werther's original Chewy Sweetie, which one the girls gave me at the cinema, which I haven't eaten yet. Um, a post office receipt, which I need to take to work. And more chewing gum in case I get pooey breath or someone else I know gets pooey breath, I don't know. A pen, everyone needs a pen in their bag, especially if you're at work and you need to make notes. Another pen, I have a second pen in my bag. And third time lucky, I have another pen, which the lid has come off. Oh no, the lid has come off. Here we go. And my husband went to the seaside without me for work, lucky him, and he bought me a lipstick pen and it's got my name on it and rhinestones. It's very tacky and I absolutely love it. And I'm going to put that in my office actually when I go back to work. I have my mobile phone. Um, again, I have a Samsung. Um, again, so I have that there for all my internet needs. I have my purse, which is a Chanel purse, which I'm very, very proud to say that I won at work um, for best lipstick sales. So every time I look at this, I think I can do my job. So yeah, and that's got all my junk in there and some money. Not very much money at the moment, but there is money in there. And oh, you see, this is interesting. I found, you know, I showed you in my car boot sale, I bought this watch. I've had the uh, battery replaced so I can wear that for work. I shouldn't really keep it in my bag like that, but I took it off while I was at work. And... Oh, you see, this is what I mean, duplicates of everything. Another bottle of number five there, just for my everyday needs. That one's one that goes on my dressing table, but I couldn't find my little one. And the last thing I have, yep, my bag is empty, is my makeup bag. And this is normally just what I carry. I don't carry all those little bits and bobs. Um, again, and this is just if I go out for the day or I just need something. It's a tiny little one. I got this from the charity shop. It looks a bit like a Ted Baker one or a Vivian Westwood one. But it's actually from um, Primark originally. It's got a little bow and it's tartan. And I have a Body Shop hairbrush, which is not only a travel hairbrush, it's a mirror, so that's really, really handy. Keep that to keep my locks nice and smooth. Um, some Clarins Balm Repair Moisture Replenishing Lip Balm with Rose Wax, which is really good when your lips get very, very dry. I would suggest that if you get very dehydrated. Um, I have 
plasters, everyone needs plasters and fact of the day, I'm a Pisces and I read somewhere, I don't know if I believe it or not, but Pisces get very sensitive on their feet because you're walking a fish on their flippers and it's true, my feet always got blistered on whether I've got small shoes, tall shoes, high shoes, flat shoes, I always need a plaster or if someone cuts themselves and a nail file which is always good just in case you need to file your nails I have a red lip liner and this is where it gets a bit silly girls I'm sorry I'm going to count them out it's because I haven't emptied it for ages lipsticks one two of all colours and shapes three four five six tiny little H&M lipstick Seven was that? Eight? I'm really, obviously I've lost count, I've got that many. A sparkly lip gloss in pink. Bourgeois cheek colour, which also has a mirror in, which is handy. Some antihistamines in case I get an allergy or um, the pollen um, gets up my nose. A nude lip liner. A, another mirror saying, I know, I know, I'm fabulous. Um, I just think that's fantastic. And um, a Shrek lip balm. And... A, another tiny little bottle of number five that's three lots of number five I've got in there so let me pull, pull that back in there before I have an avalanche as you can see I needed to clean my makeup bag out and my handbag so I'm going to do this after I've done this video I'm going to decant half of this stuff because I don't need to carry half the stuff around with me all day and as you can see I have far too much in my bag now it is nice and empty and um, yeah that's done I'm, I've cleared my bag out that I'm going to put all the things that I need in there and things that I don't I will put away um, but have a good weekend guys um, if you get to see The Great Gatsby um, go and see it um, I wouldn't even say it was necessarily a chick flick guys can enjoy it too or go take your mum or your dad or your auntie just take somebody that maybe isn't expecting to go to the cinema it's a good one to go see and um, again it's super for all ages I think it might be a 12A so anyone over 12 I believe um, but yeah have a good weekend um, if you like this kind of video and you want to see more videos like this or you prefer a thrift haul message me down in the bottom below box down here um, I will um, answer you as soon as I can and I will try and get some of the videos up this week um, now I'm back working full time I probably will do two or three videos a week if I can um, if not I'll try and do two on the days that I have off if I have enough time to do it have the best week ever be good to each other as Ellen DeGeneres says and I will see you in the next video